Hello, Facebook. Shannon here checking in from College Coach with your FAFSA tip of the week. And today I just wanted to quickly touch on a couple of questions on the FAFSA um, where it asks you about the number of people in your parents' household and then the number of people in that household who are in college. And it seems like it should be pretty straightforward, but there are a couple tricky things about it, so I just wanted to quickly go over it. First of all, reporting the number of people in your parents' household. You always count yourself as the student. You count your custodial parents. If you're not sure who your custodial parents are, check out my video from last week where I go over that particular issue. Uh, you can count your siblings. Uh, even if they don't live in your house, as long as your parents are providing the majority of their support. So that might be older brothers and sisters who are in college in their own apartment, they don't live in your house, but your parents are still supporting them they would count as a household member. Also, anybody else who lives in your house who your parents are supporting. So if you might have grandparents or nieces and nephews living with you, uh, as long as your parents are supporting them, they would count as household members. If grandma lives with you but she's got her own income, then she wouldn't count as a household member. Now, once you've determined who are in your parents' household, then the FAFSA asks you um, how many of those household members are, will be attending college in the next academic year. So again, you always count yourself as the student, so that number will always be at least one. You can also count brothers and sisters who will be attending college next year as long as they are attending college at least half time, which at most colleges that equates to taking at least two classes per semester. You could also count graduate student siblings if they're attending graduate school as long again as your parents are still providing the majority of the support. So that's who counts as a college student who doesn't count. Uh, siblings you might have in high school who might be taking some dual enrollment courses, they don't count. Siblings attending military academies don't count. And the big one that doesn't count is parents who might be attending college. The FAFSA instructs you specifically to exclude parents attending college from that number. So you can't report your parents as being in school on the FAFSA, but that's actually a great special circumstance to bring up with the college financial aid offices directly. Send them an email explaining that your parents are in school, explaining what they are paying in terms of tuition for their college, and it is at the college's discretion whether they want to take that into account or not in your financial aid offer. So I hope this information helps. Tune in next week for our next tip, which it talks about uh, how many schools you can send the FAFSA to and what to do if you're applying to a lot of colleges. So stay tuned for that.